at ShaneStars with DroidModRX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to unbrick your HTC Droid DNA. Now, um, just a heads up, and hopefully if you're watching this, you have to do this no matter what. Like, I'm guessing you're bricked if you're watching this. Uh, just a quick heads up, if you unbrick your Droid DNA by flashing the RUU like I'm going to show you guys here in this method, you're going to have to relock your bootloader uh, before you proceed. Now, that's why I have not showing you guys how to unbrick the droid DNA up until this point because I didn't want to relock my bootloader uh, but as you all know when you're flashing and modding and hacking your phone sometimes things uh, go awry last night I stayed up pretty late uh, messing around with kernels just uh, trying some new things on the droid DNA uh, because I was going to do another video for you guys uh, but this is what happened I flashed the wrong kernel and sent my phone into well it would boot up but as soon as it got into the OS it would crash instantly and reboot uh, so it was not really in a boot loop but it was uh, so I decided to go ahead and lock the bootloader which I've already done uh, the way that you would do that is you would plug your phone in and you would go to the uh, command let's see you, you would need to be in fast boot which is where we're at now the way that you enter fast boot is uh, you'll power down the phone and then power up the phone as soon as uh, you've hit the power button, you'll hold down the volume down button until you enter the bootloader mode, which would be this screen, and then you would highlight fast boot and select fast boot, and that gets you into the fast boot mode. Once you're in fast boot mode, you will plug your phone into the PC, and you'll open up a command prompt. Doesn't matter where you open it, just anywhere, just uh, go into the PC. So you go to the start menu and just type CMD and hit enter. And what you're going to want to type is fastboot OEM lock and hit enter. Now, I've already done that on my phone, so I don't have to do that now. But that's how you relock your bootloader. Uh, you will be able to re-unlock your bootloader later, so that's not an issue. Um, you can just use the same exact method that you used before, and everything will be fine. You can re-unlock your bootloader. But once you've done this, now it's time to flash the RUU. So you'll need to head to the link in the description and grab that RUU file. Uh, with your phone still plugged into the USB cable, you will go ahead and run the RUU file. So you'll download the RUU uh, from the link in the description. Just double click it to run it. This is for Windows only. Now apparently the process takes quite a bit of time, so you just have to be patient. Okay, so you'll want to make sure that you do run this as administrator, so if you're on uh, Windows... If you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, be sure that you do run as administrator. So basically, we're just going to walk through the prompts and let it do its thing. Okay, so this is just basically warning you that this will totally erase your phone, and this would be like pulling your phone directly out of the box. Uh, this would be like a, having a brand new phone. So we're going to go ahead and click I understand, and then click Next. Just turn on your phone and connect it to your PC using the USB cable provided. And disable the standby and hibernation modes on your PC. Make sure that the battery power is more than 30%. Okay, so we had to select to update the ROM version. Uh, that's what we want to do, so we'll go ahead and verify that and click Next. So during the update process, the following things will occur. The Android phone will be prepared for the update process. The progress information will be displayed both on your PC and Android phone. The update completed screen will be displayed on your PC. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Just please do not remove the USB connection from the Android phone or launch any programs during the update process. Remember the operation will take about 10 minutes. So we will kind of leave this to do its thing. Um, we're not going to work ourselves up or get antsy just sitting here watching it for 10 minutes. We're just going to leave, go get a drink, uh, you know, some coffee, a diet soda, get a snack, whatever, watch some TV, and we'll come back to this as soon as it's finished. Thanks, guys. Just wanted to show you guys what it's going to do uh, on your phone. It's just going to bring up the screen, and as it does its thing, you're going to get a progress bar uh, eventually on the screen. And, of course, you see the progress meter there on the computer as well. Uh, so we'll kind of just leave it here to do its thing. Okay, so uh, the REU really did only take about 10 minutes to flash. I counted the time there. It really was about 10 minutes. Now it's stuck at about 22% for about 9 minutes, and then it sped up and flashed the whole rest of the ROM uh, in 1 minute. So don't get nervous if it gets stuck on 22, 23, or 24. Um, eventually, it will do its thing and it will finish. So we'll go ahead and click Finish. So we should have a 100% stock 
our droid DNA just like as if we pulled it out of the box we'll go ahead and reboot the phone and see if that's what we got our phone should now be totally unbricked and uh, the method is very simple um, but once again it does require you to relock your bootloader so that's one thing to consider I mean if you're bricked obviously it shouldn't matter you just kinda have to do whatever you had to do to unbrick your device okay so it looked like everything worked just fine our device is now unbricked and it is now booting into Android as if it were booting into Android for the very first time uh, Anyways, guys, that has been how to unbrick your HTC Droid DNA. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos on the Droid DNA and several other devices that I cover, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, you can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter account, at DroidModerX, where I have lots of Twitter giveaways. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated on any articles that I write or any videos that I produce. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one updated casual route and included the root method the unlike bootloader method for this new update so